Today I'm going to show you how I make my favourite coconut raspberry dessert, which is also great as a breakfast. Look at that. Ready-made vegan desserts are really, really expensive, but they're super simple to make at home. The secret ingredient is agar agar. Now you can use corn flour instead, corn flour mixed with water, but agar agar gives it the most incredible jelly-like consistency to any dessert. So I can hear some noise in the background, that's Ginger walking around. It's super duper hot here today. It's 30 degrees Celsius, but it was 37 degrees Celsius yesterday. So I'm really grateful that it's cooled down a little bit. Way too hot to cook. So all I'm gonna to use today is a can of coconut milk. I'm gonna say that's around about two cups one teaspoon of agar agar and some raspberries. I picked these raspberries up this morning from the local market in Tavira and this whole punnet was three euros fifty. Now I normally put them straight in the freezer so that I can use them whenever I want and they'll stay beautifully sweet and fresh but today I'm going to use one cup of fresh raspberries, one can of coconut milk. I like to use full fat. One teaspoon of agar agar. I've got a super duper quick blender so that will take around 20 seconds to make into a super smooth consistency. It wasn't even 20 seconds. Look at the colour of that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that in a saucepan and I'm going to heat it gently until it thickens on a simmer maybe around 10 minutes. Whilst that's simmering, I'm going to macerate some raspberries. So let's take about another cup. It's maybe a few too many. And just add a teaspoon of coconut sugar. This is optional. My husband has a sweet tooth, I don't. So, but I'm going to add one teaspoon of coconut sugar. And then I'm gonna smush those down and leave those for as long as I can until they make into a natural sticky jam. That's been simmering for five to 10 minutes in the background. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to split it into three. So I'm going to make two desserts and save some for breakfast tomorrow, make a little bit of muesli to go on the top or a little bit of granola. So look at the color of it. I'm just gonna pour the hot liquid into the cup. smells so good. You could put sugar in it or agave or any kind of sweetener but I like mine not so sweet. Oh it's very very hot. Make sure you've got some oven proof dishes. Some for breakfast tomorrow. Oh, wow. And this should set into a jelly like consistency. So let me put it in the fridge and then I'll come back when it's set. For a crispy topping to go on top of the raspberry coconut mixture and then the jammy raspberry mixture, I'm going to toast some sesame seeds, some whole sesame seeds, as many as you like. I'm gonna sell this about a tablespoon. And then some nice desiccated coconut or coco marado, as it is in Portugal about a tablespoon again and then I'm going to pop those in the frying pan and toast that gently but be careful the coconut doesn't burn because it burns super quick so on a medium heat don't take your eyes off it so these have been sitting in the fridge for an hour and they're completely set now ready to be dressed with the raspberry coulis or quick jam so good and the toasted coconut and sesame seeds. So simple, you just toast them in a dry pan, keeping an eye on them for a few minutes until they're golden brown.
my super simple raspberry and coconut dessert with a little sprinkle of sesame on the top too. Outstanding. Amazing dessert, even better as a breakfast. Mmm. Delicious. I can't stop eating it. 